New at 11, an enormous smelly eyesore. And imagine this mountain of debris from Hurricane Irma in your neighborhood. There are mattresses, household trash, all kinds of filth. And this massive pile of junk may be there until February. CBS 4's Hank Tester has the story. They need to get all that stuff from over there. We're going to have rats and roaches all over here. They need to, that's embarrassing. We and here's why she's so unhappy. 341,000 cubic yards of hurricane debris has been dumped and is being processed just 60 feet away from the North Park at Scott Carver Housing Development. This is in Liberty City. When I come outside, I cough a lot because of the smell that I have to inhale. And I have a newborn grandbaby three months old and it's not good for her. The site, one of six in Miami-Dade County, stopped accepting hurricane debris Wednesday, November 1st, but mulching has been slow, dusty, dirty. And they need to wet it down and stop all that dust from flying all over the place. The problem, homeowners across the county piled up all debris mixed together from palm fronds, limbs, tree stumps to mattresses, bed springs, auto parts, furniture, you name it. All of that has to be separated. The mulchers can only handle vegetative debris. I, I can't breathe sometimes when I come out here because the air is not clear. This from Miami-Dade County, which owns the land in the Poinciana Industrial Park debris site. Debris staged at the site being size reduced pursuant to FEMA requirements prior to being removed. The contractor working seven days per week to grind the debris as quickly as possible. When the job is complete, the contractor will restore the location to its previous condition. According to the county, the site was picked following FEMA guidelines, saying the establishment and operation of strategically located staging sites was a critical component of the debris management operation. This is a disgrace. Um, and I wanted to know why did they come in the low-income fam in areas to put their trash. Residents of the housing complex say they have not heard much from their elected public officials. And they're getting very tired of all this. It's gone on way too long. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News Tonight.